So folks, welcome to a new little uh, Let's Play that I've decided to do, because I finished up Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and it worked out oh so well, apparently. And if you haven't really figured out what this one is, it's Super Mario Sunshine. That is not the final one to choose, but yeah, Super Mario Sunshine. It got mixed reviews, if you remember. But um, instead of me talking here, let me let's get this thing started, and then I'll talk to you. So enjoy the intro, assuming that the intro actually does come up, which there is actually an intro, so check it out. most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Mario, be careful, I have a bad feeling about this. Man, this game, that animation cutscene was like so dated. But yeah, Super Mario Sunshine came out, I think, 2002. I think I was living in Kansas at the time. I remember asking my mom for it because I was only like, what, 11? Around the time it came out. And she was saying, no, you can't get this game. And I was like, bah. Then I got to rent it from uh, Blockbuster. But I didn't get to really beat the game. In fact, the latest I actually owned this game. And like, I decided, you know what? F the police, I'm going to own this game. And I picked it up, I think, around 2010. Despite me having beaten it a long time ago. What the hey is this? Uh, let me just go around. Or... Ew, it's all icky and uh, it just hurt me. What could it possibly be? Also, I do like in the intro about how um, Peach was just staring out and she saw something, but like, she didn't really have a real reaction. She was like, What? I must be so high right now, dog. Let's see what this guy's gotta say. Help? Help you? Are you crazy? We're the ones who need help. Take that water pump and clean the airship, you. You! Crank that soldier boy, Mario all up in it, oh. Complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my tank. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. Do you want to hear the explanation again? Sure, why not? It's not like I have time to waste. Anyway, though. So yeah, this game... It really kicks off pretty quick. Try watching that M off to test your skills. If the policeman ain't gonna do what you tell me. Oh, this M. Maybe that's what they meant. Man, Mario making it rain up in this mug. And that's gonna be how it be that's gonna be how it is the entire game. Anyway. So yeah, this game came out 2002. And it was well received it was decent. How would I really put this? It was decently received when it first came out, so then as time went on, people were saying that it wasn't really that good of a Mario game. But now it's kind of come back in full circle where people kind of appreciate it, to a certain extent. 
because it was it came out during the GameCube days where Nintendo really was trying things different and new. You know, something we could all appreciate. Except the GameCube was like the weirdest. It was a pretty weird era, actually. I mean, we really only got like one big Mario game. We only got like one big Zelda, unless you want to count TP. But Wind Waker was also kind of weird. And I just got a message on my phone. And the level just rose. <gasps> and what is that? That's not a star. It's a shine sprite. Although technically the sun is still a star, so... I'm gonna call it like I sees it. Yeah, hey. Nice work, Mario! Hmm, quite an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? I am Flood. Glad to meet you. Hi, someone's coming! is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and, yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold this sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! Objection! Overruled! I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned! This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. Go straight that way. You can't miss the mess, pal. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. So yeah, as many folks will probably kind of say or have already explained, it's like, you know, how in the world does Mario get treated this way when he just got to the island? I mean, seriously. And like, could no one else have really handled it? I mean, seriously. Hey, look, it's Peach. How's it going? Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. I just knew you would be. <laughs> I'm going to keep giving her every single voice that does not fit. Tra -la 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 -la. Why does that look like a symbol or something? And why is the sky so dark, huh? It's not sun-drenched. This is hardly my idea of a relaxing vacation, Mario. I want to go home right now. Well, you know what? We're just gonna have to wait. Why can't I jump on her head? That's what I want to do. And I can't- oh, but I can jump on Toadsworth. This game is sexist. You know that? That is- alright. It's freaking Nintendo. 
Okay, so first mission is to just clean up this mess. That is totally not my fault in any way whatsoever. Delfino logic, ladies and gentlemen. This shouldn't be too hard to handle. Oh my god, it's the same monster as before, except he's brown instead of sherbet colored. That's how it looked back in the other part of the stage, right? Anyway, shouldn't take too long to take him down. As long as he keeps opening his mouth, opening his trap. Come on, come on. And he's down for the count. Victory, thy name is Mario. Princess, look! On the statue's head! Well, I actually love how that camera just like shook as he was running towards her. A kidnapping stopped the criminal in his tracks with some water. But I just really like how um, the camera just shook. And you just like, and everyone was just standing there. Everybody's doing the fish. Hey, hey. What you doing, Shadow Mario? Why is your face doing? That is just, that is, I'm done. That's horrible. That is dirty. You're nasty. You piece of, okay. Oh, wow, wow, not fair. Completely unfair. You shouldn't be able to use tools like that. Yes, because... Hey, wait a second. He's getting away! He's heading for the square. Go get him. Oh, shoot. He's... Oh, that piece of... Okay. I'll just leave Peach back there, but... This guy. You can't run away from me. He ran away from me. He escaped into the graffiti mire. Tried to spray it with water. I did. Let's go. If I can actually... Freestyle. Actually, like, he literally drove, drove, dove in there. Bianco Hills. Road to the big mid mill. Big min mill. Min mill? What's a min mill? It's a windmill, not a min mill. What am I even saying? What do I even do? There he is. Okay. So this is actually the first stage in the entire game. It's like... It's like the bomb battlefield of this game. And... <laughs> I don't think I really need to explain the game, so let's just try to get to it. What else is there to really talk about? I think this is one of the first real games, or sorry, first real Mario game. Where'd he go? He is somewhere here. I think I know where he went. Anyway, this is the first real Mario game to actually include voice acting, which is quite interesting. Like, you know, not just the random, like, let's go, here we go, ow, okie dokie kind of stuff. It's like actual, like, dialogue for everyone except Mario. And it sounds interesting, but I think it was kind of one of those hit or miss situations. Because again, you just, like, uh, not counting the cartoons and stuff, this is actually the first time you ever actually hear Mario's friends and acquaintances and everyone else he knows talks. So it was like a big step for Nintendo, along their huge line of really unconventional things to do during the GameCube era. Which includes, but are not limited to, not actually having a real Kirby game as much as I enjoyed Air Ride. Um, what else? Not having a full-on Donkey Kong game, as fun as Jungle Beat was. What other stuff was there? This guy again. Nothing like repeating boss three times. What else though? Yeah, and then Wind Waker, which while was well played like a traditional Zelda game, you know, like they would jump in the cell shading, which looked really cool actually. As weird as it still was. But now, it's like, they did so much different stuff. People initially hated it, but it became appreciated as time went on. So that's why I think that, like, uh, not all of them, but, like, quite a lot of Nintendo games actually do get better with age. Really, that's all? That can't be it. Come on, get up there. Yeah, yeah. I missed... That really? You just get... Okay. Okay, Mario. Spin break. And I missed again. Let me try one more time, and there we go. Yeah! So yeah, that makes for... Two shine sprites. Save and continue. And fortunately, I think I've actually kind of reached the time where I think I'm going to cut off, assuming there's actually no real cutscene. And there is no real cutscene. So yeah. This is a good way to start off the series, and I shall see you guys in the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, what, really? This is, this is, I see you guys in the next episode of Super Mario Sunshine. 
See you guys next time. Peace.